Hello everyone and welcome to Planning with Alo. Whether you're new to the channel or are coming back, I'm so glad that you decided to be here with me today. So as you can see, I have my coffee all ready to go here. And that is because today I am showing you how it is that I plan out my day in the Roro Designs Daily Grid inserts. I've been using these inserts for a while now. This is how they look. These are obviously all filled out from the past days. And as you can see, they vary in looks depending on my day. So to get started, I'm basically going to show you what it is that I use in order to accomplish my daily plan which is my planner. My favorite pen and these Poi and Hun weekly gridded, I'm sorry, marbled sticky notes that I love. And you'll see what I use these for in just a minute. These are the inserts themselves from Roro Designs. This is how they look empty. I love the layout of these. It has a schedule on the left side and then a list format on the right side. And then any stickers that I'll use, I'll probably be pulling out of my um, pouch here. So let's begin. I'm going to open up my planner to my today page marker and pull the page marker itself as well as the inserts out of the rings. I don't like to write on my inserts when they're inside the planner. It's just a personal preference. That's why I always cut slits on them because it makes it easier for me to just pull it out. And then I thought I would put a Sweet Caress Teardrop Transparent Sticker. I've been loving using these and it's just to write out anything that I think of honestly. I like to greet myself in my inserts every morning in Spanish, which is Buenos Dias. So I always put that down. That's just like a little thing that I like to do. So that's what I'm doing here. And then from there, I'm going to date my inserts as well as write down the weather for the day. Here you'll see me reaching for my Sharpie fine tip pen to write on the sticker so that I can prevent any smearing. And then I'm also going to go ahead and pick up something that has a straight edge just to go ahead and mark a line down the schedule because we are not going anywhere at the moment. Um, since we are in quarantine, we're just kind of chilling at home and finding things to do here. So yeah, that's what I did there. Hashtag stay home, right? So shortly after this, I'm going to adjust the camera to a better angle so that you guys are sort of able to see what it is that I'm writing down. Um, I always try and keep priorities and things like coffee <laughs> up at the top of the page because that's usually what I start my day with. So for example, today was payday and there's a couple of things that I need to do along getting paid, if that makes sense. So I go ahead and use little arrow symbols to mark what it is that I need to do, like check my bank account, make any transfers for bills or something like that. And um, in this case, I needed to buy a money order today. So that's what you see me writing here. So just wanted to point that out. And because I am planning the day of, which is Friday, April the 3rd, when I'm filming this video for you guys, um, I do usually plan my day ahead. Um, so I'll do it the night before usually. But um, like I was saying, I wanted to practice some time blocking today so that I could focus on my filming and editing, which is what I'm doing now. So I went ahead and drew like a brackets box in the middle of the page to space out and that way anytime I would look down on my page because I do keep my planner open at my desk where I work, I could just kind of visualize that I need to, you know, focus this particular time to the big task of the day, which was filming and editing. You'll also see me putting down the page flag that I recently created for Time Block. This is just like a repetition task card that I like to use from time to time for moments like this. 
And then underneath the page flag, I am just writing down the to do's that go along the time blocking for today. Underneath my time block, I'm going to go ahead and space out my to do's. So these are just things that I need to do today. Any random stuff like, for example, um, cleaning or starting some printouts that I want to do. Just any little tasks that you have in mind. I go ahead and write that there as well as put a dot um, on any reminders that are happening today. For example, I need to drop something off in the office of our neighborhood. And so I needed to write down the times that the person was going to be available. And so I noted that with a dot symbol. I also sometimes like to use the bottom gray portion of the insert to write out my meals of the day. So my breakfast, lunch, snacks, dinner, and workout sometimes. Um, and then at the very bottom of the page, I left it for some notes from a phone call that I had. So that's what you see me doing here. I'm going to bring you guys down just a little bit for a better view and then in a moment you'll see me pulling out my mild liner to highlight the bottom part of the left side schedule. This is me marking down that I'm having really bad allergies. So the pollen in my state is crazy and it has me feeling all kinds of ways. So I like to notate things like that from time to time. And then we're going to move on to me flipping on to my monthly section in my planner which I do have a monthly plan with me as my previous um, YouTube video if you want to check that out and see how it is that I filled the monthly insert that you guys are seeing me pull away now. This is me just checking any notes for my weekly overview, which I use a sticky note for. And this is the Poi and Han one that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. And let's go ahead and fill it out. This one is just used for an overview since I don't plan on any weekly inserts anymore. I'm more of a daily girl now. That can change anytime, anywhere. <laughs> but right now, this is the method that I like. So I'll also bring you guys closer so you guys can see what it is that I'm writing down on these sticky notes. Anything like holidays, main appointments, or main tasks go on the weekly overview. And then on the side to-do list, I put things that don't pertain to a certain day, but that needs to get done the week of, or a reminder of what's going on during the week. And then since I like to use my stationary items, whether it's an insert or a sticky note for various things and just kind of figure out a functionality for it. This week, I thought I would use the little corner calendar part as a paint chart just to keep up with how I was feeling during the week. Sometimes you'll see me use it as a calendar and then others you won't. So here's a closer view at how everything is looking like. In this moment, I just kind of sit, sip on whatever I'm having while I'm planning think of any other or further actions that I might need to write down. And that is pretty much my entire planning routine, which happens, like I said, the night before or the day of or during the day sometimes, like in the middle of whatever I'm doing in the car or something, I might pull out my planner and just, you know, continue whatever it is that I need to do. So I plan on the go a lot as well. 
Um, and then this is me just putting everything back in my planner, making sure, you know, everything is nice and organized. I put my sticky note on my page marker to have my overview of the week at a glance alongside my daily and then any other notes and such I just kind of tuck it in where I'm able to see it and yeah that concludes today's video you guys I had a lot of fun creating this but it was also kind of hard to really capture the essence of what it is exactly that I do when I plan everybody has their own style and everybody has their own ideas which is what makes our community just great so let me know what you thought in the comments also don't forget to like share and subscribe for more and until then I'll catch you guys in my next video bye